Yo, what's going on, everybody? JC here today from Fittest Gamers, and today I want to present to you all how to unlock everything in WWE 2K23. So you have the purchasables. We're going to go through the purchasables, then the showcase mode unlockables, and the My Rise unlockables. The bulk of everything is going to be in purchasables and in showcase mode. That's the most important things. Um, purchasables, you got 59 different superstars you could purchase. They're all about 1,000 points or tokens or whatever you want to call it. Then you have... 52 different championship belts that you could choose from and then you have a couple of arenas that you could choose from too just a couple not too many most of the arenas are going to be in showcase mode so how do you get all of these there's two different ways there's an alternative the the main well the first way is the supercharger the playstation store any marketplace has it the supercharger it's an add-on the supercharger is going to unlock everything you see here everything here is going to be unlocked if you don't want to go that route there's also the gameplay route you have to play on Legend. I say not to do it on easy because you need to play on Legend and get five-star matches. Five-star matches are going to give you anywhere from 800 points to 1,000 points. Easy matches are only going to give you 200 points. I did a five-star match on easy and I got 225 points. It's not worth it. You're better off doing Legend. You could do a Royal Rumble, come in as a 30th entrant. Start it from the beginning. I think it allows you to watch. It's going to be a five-star match no matter what. When you come in, you win the match, you're probably going to get a 1,000, but you have to wait that whole time. So maybe you're better off just playing and do a high overall Super Cena or Roman Reigns versus a low overall. That's the, that's the way for the purchasables. There's no other way around it. Then we go to showcase mode, which is where tons of the exciting unlockables are going to be, if you ask me. Um, we're going to go over the unlockables. If you want, I'll go over it real quick. Um, is RVD, WWE Bell, John Cena, the ECW One Night Stand Arena, Kurt Angle, the SmackDown with the Fist, Cena from 02, uh, Undertaker from 03, John Cena from 03 with the Vengeance Arena, WrestleMania 36, Cena from 2018, Undertaker from 2018, 2018 on Night of Champions, Triple H 08, AJ Styles, SummerSlam, um, you know, these are all the different unlockables that you could get in showcase mode and it's it's where the bulk are at. It's where all of the different arenas are. The elite superstars, if you ask me, you know, the Lesnar's, the Rock, Edge. It's where all, to me, the cool unlockables are going to come from showcase mode. There's an absolutely cool one here, which is Super Cena. He's invisible. Invisible. Yes, invisible. And then you have Bruno San Martino and Hulk Hogan. We'll talk about those two at the end because those two have different objectives compared to most of these. So how do you get everything? You need to complete all of the objectives. First thing what you're going to want to do is go to options and make sure you have the difficulty on easy. I did it on normal because that's what the game started me off at. But you want to make sure you do it on easy because if not, it's going to be some, it's going to be some fun if you do it on hard and legendary. It's up to you. They were talking about how to do this fast. It's not about how to do this slow and, and com you know compelling and exciting you know, on legend, whatever. No, no, no. You want to do it on easy. You want to complete it fast. So we're going to go to a match and I'm going to show you all what is the key to winning or getting all of the objectives done. In order to complete all of the objectives, you have to do what it tells you. Pretty much what it is, you're doing the objectives. Now, what's the trick to it? You're going to pause it. The top two are pretty much telling you what to do, but then the bottom tell you how to do it. So the bottom is telling me successfully attack, grapple, or dive at your opponent to cause big damage. I got to do damage. There's going to be a little bar until it fills up. Boom, I go to the next one. Then it wants me to do here, it says, then he used a hammer throw to toss me to the floor like a sack of potatoes. How do you hammer throw? It tells you right here. Press hold circle and L analog towards the ropes for a strong Irish whip so you could throw him over the ropes. It's that simple. You know, right now I'm just going to do damage to him. Um, don't know why it's reversing as much. I mean, it's just, <laughs> I put it on easy so he doesn't reverse and then he starts reversing everything. Um, see that meter? That's the damage meter I was telling you all about. That's what, you, you know, we're looking at here. Once we're done there, we're going to do the hammer throw. Once you do the hammer throw, he's going to go down to the floor. And, you know, of course, Cena wants to start, uh, you know, getting one up on me. Instant recovery. He, he's going out the ring. He's trying to grab a chair or something to hit me with. Uh, oh, my goodness. Let me show you all the hammer throw. Come on, get in the ring. Get in the ring, buddy. Excuse my language. Um, this is, yeah. All right, I'm going to hammer throw him now. I'm going to hammer throw him now. So how you hammer throw? I paused the objectives. I showed you all how to do it. And now we're going to hammer throw him. Hold circle. Boom. It's going to give me the next challenge now. He's in the floor like a sack of potatoes. Now, what does it say here? Combos. I have to do combos. Check the combo screen to, um, to see them all. So I'm going to go down to combos. Square, 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 X. Square, 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 circle. You know, square, square, circle, a square, X, circle. You see, it's just it's 
pretty much easy. So I got to do two combos of his. One. This is going to be the first one. That's one. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do square X circle. Boom. Now we've done it. Oh, wait. Two heavy combos. Sorry, we have to finish with X. It's X. Uh, yes, heavy combo. So go to combos. You're going to look at the heavy ones. Anything with X is a heavy combo. So square, square, X, X. Now we're done here. Now it says here, once we get back in the ring, I hope to get a second breath. But Rob kept moving by sending me into the ropes with an Irish whip. How do you do an Irish whip? Analog circle and analog towards the ropes. It tells you how to do it there. That's how you got to do this. That's how you're going to be able to complete absolutely everything uh, in the objectives. It's the only way you're going to get by this. So I'm going to Irish whip him to the ropes. He's going to do a little cutscene. We're going to skip that. Now I'm going to pause it. And what does he want me to do? Rob knew he needed to get me back into the match and find a way with a diving moonsault from the top rope to the floor. While Now it tells me how to do it here. While on the top turnbuckle and, up, and opponent grounded in a supine position at ringside, Press X to perform RVD's moon, diving moonsault. Supine means on his back. Um, for those that didn't know. Uh, you're gonna, you know, something like this stuff. I'm gonna want him down for a while. I'm definitely gonna want to stun him. Well, he's already, um, he's already relatively hurt. So I'm gonna definitely just want to get him on his back. And then I'm gonna do the move that it's telling me to do. So that should be enough. I'm gonna get to the top turnbuckle. Nope, that's not enough actually. Uh, this needs to be on the on the ground, I believe. It's on the floor. On the ringside floor. So, yeah, on the ringside floor is right. This is what this one needs to be. So I'll show you all here. I'm gonna do a couple more, and then we're gonna move on to the my rise stuff. So I just want you all to see what it is that I'm doing and how I do it. So he's on the floor, on his back. Go to the top, X, and he should do the moon saw. There we go. That's one. And now the next challenge. How do I get him on the barricade? Um, with the opponent leaning towards the center of the north or south barricade, press circle to perform a corkscrew leg drop. It doesn't tell you how to get him on the barricade, but this is simple. It's going to be circle and L1 is to drag, or you could just Irish whip him. Irish whip him into the center of the barricade. Once I have him in the center, I press circle to do my corkscrew leg drop. I'm going to put him here. Simple as that. Now he's going to go up and do his corkscrew leg drop. Is that, is that easy? Is that easy? Doesn't get any complicated than that. <laughs> Trust me, it's super easy. When it, you know, as long as you just follow the directions of it. Um, and then, then we'll, we'll finish off here. So now, with when I finally got back to my feet, RVD was waiting with a steel chair ready to attack me. Um, so it tells you how to get a weapon at the apron. It says, you know, tip, press L1 near the apron at ringside to grab a weapon. It needs to be a steel chair, so you will choose a steel chair. And then it tells you while standing at the side of the grounded opponent with the signature stored, press R2 and square to perform a rolling thunder if you want to know how to do a rolling thunder. Obviously, some challenges are going to be a lot harder. Make sure you get a chair. Make sure you follow all the directions that it tells you to do. Obviously, there's going to be some harder challenges, but as long as you pause it and you look at the objectives and you follow it, that's all you have to do. Just follow what the objectives tell you. And you'll be set. They, it, it tells you how to do the majority of things. 99% of the things you have to do, it tells you. Combo breaker. Well, that's a different story. That's a different story. That's you have to reverse it. You have to reverse it how it tells you to reverse it. Now I have him on the ground. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna do my rolling thunder. And boom. That's it. There we go. Now what is all I'm gonna do? While standing in front of opponent in the ring, press circle and grab them, then press X. I have to do a front heavy grapple. You don't know how to do a front heavy grapple. It tells you right here, circle and then X. Simple as that. Circle, and then yeah, you don't really have to do it. Once you do the grapple, it just goes into a cutscene. So, you know, um, yeah, now it says, I'd really hurt Rob with a slingshot. He knew he'd have to launch a dive attack from the top rope if he wanted momentum back. While on the top turnbuckle, press square or X to perform a diving attack. It doesn't tell me if it needs to be on the ground or standing up. So just go to the top turnbuckle and do the move that it tells you to do. It's with square or X. That's very self-explanatory. Um, let's see if we uh get him in the ring. Nope, or don't get him in the ring. Let's see if it works if he's outside. We're following directions, right? Just follow, just follow the directions. See if it works. Is it gonna work? It does work. Uh, and then now one more thing while standing in front of opponent 
Um, yeah, strong Irish whip again. Yeah, strong Irish whip again. And then go from there. Uh, why, why did it? Yeah. That's all it is. I'm going to get him in the ring. I got a strong Irish whip him to the floor one more time. Look at the objective list and go from there. So, boom. There it goes. Strong Irish whip. He's there and uh, he followed me ringside and hit me with a light combo. What is a light combo, you might ask? Look at the combos. Anything that ends with square. So, you're pretty much going to go square, 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 square four times is a light combo. If you do it on easy, he shouldn't reverse it. And I just, um, yeah, he reversed it the moment I said it. 99% of the time, he's not going to reverse it as long as you have it on easy. So you're just going to go square, 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 square. That's a light combo. Stunned him. Um, while I was recovering, RVD grabbed a table from the apron and set it up in the corner. How do you grab a table from the apron? This will be the official last one I'm going to do before I go into the My Rise stuff. Let me make sure we do it right. Let's go ahead and grab a table. How do you grab a table? Let's check it out. Um, while holding a table, approach the corner, press X to lean the table. Well, to grab a table, you should know it's L1 in the apron, same way that you grab the chair. That's why it doesn't tell you it again, because it's like we already told, um, told them how to do it. So how do you do it? You just go outside, go to the apron, get a table. When you go in, if you don't know how to lean it in the turnbuckle, it tells you just press X when you're near the turnbuckle. That's all you're doing. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, anytime he hits me, it's not supposed to happen. Because it's supposed to be on easy. All right, get him out the ring. That works too. That's not what I want. Grab the table. Typical 2K. All right, and we're going to lean this right here. X pops up to lean. That's it. And next is the one me to do a front heavy grapple. And that's it. And then from there, the match is going to end. It's a cutscene after. So, yes. That's all it is. That's all there is to it. So now, let's move on to the My Rise portion of this. Oh, before we go to My Rise, there's something here. Super Cena. And of course, Bruno Sammartino, whatever. How do you get Super Cena? It's super easy. Um, all you got to do is choose one of these opponents here or a random opponent and you unlock Super Cena once you beat him. Make sure it's on easy. I'm pretty sure it was on easy. Just that he's like, you know, on a, on a God mode level. So it's really hard to beat. And then you had the Fatal 4-Way match that you unlock Bruno Sammartino and Hulk Hogan. And uh, how do you get them? It's a Fatal 4-Way match with Steve Austin, Bruno Sammartino, Hulk Hogan. You must pin each of them they cannot eliminate each other you must pin each of them and that is how you unlock bruno san martino and hulk hogan that is exactly how you get it done that's that, that's pretty much what you have to do so yeah super cena you beat super cena you get super cena the invisible cena and then bruno san martino uh, hulk hogan you pin all of them in that match and you will unlock them so yes now let's go to my rise so now we're in my rise i don't have everything unlocked because there are different stories that you have to do in my rise there's so many stories there's the main stories and the stuff that falls under it thing is that if you're doing a main story and you switch to a different one now you're doing a whole different one so uh that's what makes uh, my rise a bit more complex and there aren't too many things you get like ezekiel uh you get uh paul levesque which is triple h's first character mighty molly molly holly molly holly o2 um, you get different arenas. I'll show you the different arenas now, um, like the Japan Dome. But when you when you are playing Showcase, I mean My Rise, make sure you have it on easy. Also, if you want to complete things fast, you can't do it on Legend fast. It's not gonna happen. So make sure you have it on easy. And if you want, turn off the entrances. I have it on for my sake because I just I like seeing it. There's a couple of Easter eggs that I'm gonna show later on. That's why I have it there. Um, so make sure you have that. Make sure you look at the story progress uh, progresses. Um, you, you know, if, if it's going to let you know when it's going to switch. There's going to be like a little a sign that looks like a street, like an arrow pointing away. Um, it tells you that before you, you know, as you're doing it. Um, it tells you you're going to deviate from a storyline. So at that point, when you go into a new storyline, see, a lot of these things have different unlockables. And there's the lock, my rise, and also the legacy. And there's about three different storylines for each. You know, it's making headlines, do the evolution, new world border. Um, well, that, that's what this is. That's how this works. Tons of different unlockables here. So in my rise, 
the overall thing to do in my rise is just play on easy turn off the entrances enjoy the playthrough enjoy for what it is not too many different kind of objectives like the Ceno one there's no combo breaker here there aren't hard it's just win the match and continue to go um that's all there is though for my rise so uh and then i'll show you now one of the arenas on my rise i can get out of here I'm trying to get out of here let's get out of here real quick so i can show you there's an arena um i've unlocked a couple of arenas i mean they're not like the exciting ones as well you have the japan dome you have japan hall um then you also have lucha libre magic in the mexico plaza and then you have the motion capture studio so there's different things that you can unlock um here in uh by playing my rise different different kind of story modes um that you do and the different arenas that you get so yeah japan domos one japan hall motion capture studio is a pretty cool one if you want to see how it looks this is how it looks um lucha libre magica um and then of course you have the the japan the japan dome and then we have the japan hall so uh that's yeah that's what that is um if you noticed this okay i don't know i got this this was here i didn't purchase it the moment i got the game this was already unlocked the bcw is a little throwback to bcw so uh yeah it's pretty much all it is if you want me to reiterate everything once more it's the showcase mode you have to do all of the objectives make sure that you have it on easy do all the objectives the way i showed you how to do it you pause it look at it each one by one and then we have the purchasables you have the two ways play on legend do a five star match get a thousand points 800 to a thousand points it depends i've got an 808 i've got a 900 so it depends i say the range that you get i think you could possibly get a thousand but 800 to 900 is what i've been getting and um of course you have the supercharger that is in any marketplace so that is all there is um you know yeah that's what there is so I hope you all found this informative. I hope you all get to unlock everything absolutely fast. I suggest to do showcase mode first, then my rise. My rise is the one that's endless. I, I don't like my rise that much. I really don't. I, I didn't enjoy it as much. Showcase mode, I absolutely loved it. So uh, that's my take on it. So I hope you all find this informative. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and sub. Um, remember to brush your teeth, wash your hands, clean your ass. Remember that God is good. God is real. Miracles do happen. And I am a living proof of those miracles. And God is roaring and alive like a lion. Remember that. Also, remember to say your prayers and eat your vitamins, brother, like Hulk Hogan's mantra and John Cena's mantra of never give up. And uh, we'll move forward always, progressing always, success and positivity always. And if you do all these things, success will be a given always. So yes, much success, much love to every single one of you. Keep it going. I hope you've really found this helpful. More to come in terms of content for WWE 2K23. We're going to just keep going strong, nonstop content, trying to help out the whole wrestling community in this game. Love this game. Exciting game. Exciting times for gaming. Really excited. So glad I got this <laughs> the day it came out. So uh, thank you all for tuning in once again. God bless you all. Now we're going to log out.